What's up, y'all? In this video, I'm going to show y'all how to make a sound bank. And making sound banks is very, very useful for workflow. And if you don't want to, like, spend enormous amount of time fumbling and scrolling through your directories trying to find samples, you can organize all your samples in one folder, multiple folders. That way you can just hit one file and load up whatever samples that you want. So I'm going to make one for you right here real quickly. So first thing you want to do, and this is kind of an optional thing, um, make a new program. So if you want to um, uh, make a program to make uh, it monophonic, meaning the samples cut into each other, you could hit um, you know, off or on. I'm going to keep this to off because we're going to be making drums. And you can create a new program. I'm going to call this JD because I'm going to put some JD drums in this. All right, cool. Next thing you want to do is to the top right, hit the three uh, dots, hit load import right here, and we're going to load up some drums. So I'm going to go through my directory, and this is where I have my drums, and we're going to put a couple uh, JD, uh, J Dilla drums in here. Okay. And go ahead and load kick one into pad one. Listen to this one. Highlight the pad you want to use. Pop it in. I want to go to a different um, folder. And get a different kick. Here we go. Okay, I want that kick. All right. Okay, next thing is that um, I would like to make another pad. Um, no, another program. <laughs> not not program. Another bank. Sound bank. There we go. So up here you see A B C D. I'm going to choose um, uh, sound bank B, and you hit, you activate that by hitting this uh, the screen, or I should say the the main screen. You just hit. Anywhere above it, and it'll trigger it to um, collapse down. So I'm gonna go to B right here, and then I'm gonna have to go through the process again of loading up or finding the samples to put them into the pads. So I'm gonna go to this folder. I'm gonna kind of stay in the same folder. Grab stuff. I want that one. I want this one. And I want this one. Pad or excuse me, this uh, pad bank will be just for snares, and that's how I like to organize. If you want to organize it in a, in a different way, you could. If you want, you can put all the sounds in one bank. But this is kind of how I uh, would like to do it. And in C, I'm gonna add some hi hats or some percussion sounds to this bank. So find the folder again. And yeah, let's uh, go through the sounds. It's probably hard to hear. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard for you to hear because of the recording. Um, a clap no. Let's see. I'm trying to find some hats. Here we go. Load that one up in this pad right here cool so we have three of each so we have hats in the C bank we got snares in the B bank and then kicks in the A bank all right and again you can organize this any way you want to and the D bank we're just going to leave blank so next thing I want to do I want to save this uh, program I want to save this sound bank okay so you hit the top three dots on the top right you hit save right here next thing you do is you um, go up top right here it says save project everything you want to hit that collapse it down and select save sound bank and then it's going to ask you what program right or you know save associated sound samples um, I'm going to hit this program right here. You can choose more than one. 
uh, program, okay? If you feel like it. Next thing I want to do is I want to create an original new folder for my sounds, okay? Okay, I'm saving this into my sample folder right here. And what I'm going to do is um, the top three dots up here, hit that, create new folder. And I'm going to call this uh, um, JD Drum Kit. Hit OK. Go to that folder, open it up. And then now hit save as SBK. Now, if you have a physical um, MPC, MPC 2000 XL or 1000, you can actually save your sound bank to have it be used or to be um, compatible, you know what I'm saying, with those softwares. But right now, we're just going to be using the app. So save as SBK, hit OK. And then hit do it, save all the way at the top right. And there you go, it is saved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new project and just load it up, okay? So if I'm you know making a beat or something like that, I can just load up my sounds just really quickly and easily. Go to the folder, JD drum kit right here, hit JD.SBK or whatever other name that you have for your sound bank. Hit yes. And there it is, along with all the different uh, banks um, for that. So, yeah, um, that's really it. Um, it's simple and it's easy. Personally, for me, I don't really use um, sound banks that much for drums. Uh, I do like it for um, different kinds of sounds, like percussion and textures and stuff like that. Um, stuff that I kind of like to add on beats. But again, use it any way that you want to and that helps you out. And to help you out even more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this sound bank available to you for free. So check out the description section anywhere around this video that it may be place that if it's on YouTube or you're watching this on IGTV and go ahead and download it for free. If you want, you can just take the drums out, make your own sound bank from it. You can edit it, whatever, which way that you want. So thank you so much for watching and I will see and talk to y'all later. Peace.